Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to join us for the tour of 7423 Westwood Drive. We're in Colony Cove Mobile Home Park in sunny Ellington, Florida. And we have a unique property in our hands, folks. Uh, it's it's kind of too bad that we're coming to you with this video, to be honest with you. Uh, this is a storm damage house from the hurricane that came through about a month ago. Uh, seller was entertaining the idea of fixing it up and uh, moving back in. And uh, then they just said to heck with it and they just need it sold and they need it sold uh, very, very fast. So to say it's a fixer upper would be an understatement. Uh, there is uh, a fair amount of damage and we are gonna go through it uh, in depth uh, during this video here. So with that being said, uh, if you're not familiar with Colony Cove, Colony Cove is a five-star mobile home park here in Ellington, Florida, where we stand. We're about uh, five minutes away from the Ellington uh, Outlet Shopping Mall, about 15, 20 minutes away from the Gulf of Mexico, about five minutes away from I-75. Uh, that'll take you anywhere in the state of Florida along the Gulf Coast. Shopping and dining, as we mentioned, also has medical facilities and drug stores just down the way. Um, very large community here with average lot rent from Manatee County. You name the social function or the uh, pool or amenity, gosh darn, this, this, uh, this park has it all. I mean, it's a fantastic destination location. So that's it in the park. Uh, the house itself, let's go ahead and jump right in here to the, um, the storm damage property at 7423 Westwood. Now this is a two bedroom, two bathroom home. Uh, unfortunately, there was quite a bit of work done on it before the storm came through and we'll highlight the, uh, the work that was done. Now as we approach the property, you'll see a very large area here. There was no carport that was damaged. Uh, the roof was, and we'll get uh, there here in a moment. But you have uh, easily space for uh, three vehicles. I wanna go along the side of the house uh, first to uh, show the um, size of the lot that we have here, central AC unit, all that type of stuff. Now a lot of homes in this park were damaged. Some folks are choosing just to sell them like this seller. Some folks are looking to try to uh, try to get them fixed up. So um, great sitting area out here. As you see, we've got a pitch in the roof. Uh, vinyl siding throughout the entire house definitely brings an updated look. And the central AC has always been serviced and up to date. If you are looking for a house um, at a very low price, and uh, want to do the work on it. And then this seller is very motivated, looking to sell it very quickly. Just put the, uh, the headache behind him here. You see the neighbor here, they lost the top of their roof. <clears throat> I'm gonna pan back so you can kind of see the damage on the Florida room. Uh, let's zoom in here. You see it there, the roof line is pretty good. Uh, pretty well crinkled up there and flipped up on top of the roof there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice location in the park. One of the many pools is just down that way. So you definitely walk to the pool, which is nice. They have a double um, uh, Florida room here. So I want to highlight that. And we're going to have to walk carefully as we get through there. Okay, so first up, the metal stripping going up that was torn off. No windows were smashed or damaged during the, the, during the storm, which is actually phenomenal. Uh, but uh, they did lose this guy here. They lost the, uh, the light there. Now, they also lost the screen door that popped off. Um, it's still, still attached as the brackets were popped out, attached on the bottom. No damage to speak of here. Very nice with plenty of power, which is nice, the uh, light. And then we'll also see that the shed here is in great shape. There's no problems here. Uh, washer and dryer are staying with the home, both functional units. Breezeway had a bit of a, a sliding door that got broken during the storm. Um, so we just need to re-bracket that. separate entrance there to the back and your second area to hang out in. Uh, fantastic. Um, screens are in good shape. No damage to speak of back here. 
And again, we got plenty of power uh, so you can run, you know, a TV out here, a fan, AC unit, you name it. Definitely in a separate living space if you wanted to totally finish it out. Now, as we enter the home, <clears throat> this is where the damage starts to show, as we uh, showed it here and there. Um, they lost uh, the, the vast majority of their ceiling. So when we enter the property, it's a construction zone. Okay. The ceiling came off and the uh, roof line, that's where all the crinkled roof line was on the outside of the home. Obviously the damage here is still, uh, still remains. And uh, they came back here and did the best they could to try to bracket it throughout. But uh, you, know, you can see that I even got some daylight coming through there. Um, it's just sad that this happened, but this is what we have to work with. Again, uh, just thankful nobody was hurt. No, thankful nobody was hurt in here. Now, great, uh, great job on the flooring. Uh, before this home uh, had the storm damage, there was quite a bit of uh, updated flooring throughout. Now, there are a couple soft spots in here. I do want to point those out. Got about a half dozen of them or so. Kitchen remained intact. Uh, all the appliances are going to stay with the home. We refinished the cabinets. Uh, they did a epoxy style finish on the countertop that's nice. Updated plumbing throughout, so they got the dishwasher and then the uh, custom built in there. Now, before the storm happened, uh, just to shoot everybody straight, we did have a mold issue. The mold has been taken care of, but the painting hasn't been done. Okay, so I want to point that out too. We had a small roof leak here, some mold damage there. Um, none in the hallway, but in the bathroom, we got some mold damage I want to show you. First bathroom the mold damage up here. Now, they fixed the mold, uh, they patched the roof, and then the storm came. So unfortunately, it was a double whammy for them to, uh, to fix it, only for the hurricane to come through and really tear it up. Second bedroom, no issues to speak of, no soft spots, uh, good size. It's gonna be a queen bed with a nightstand on the other side. Um, so just tons of space and a huge closet here. Master bathroom, or master bedroom, excuse me, is huge. You'll see, again, that, that appears to be a king bed. Plenty of space on either side. Now, the furniture is in good quality, in good shape. That's staying with the home. And that nice flooring uh, has, has come on through. They've got uh, two closets. But I want to shoot you straight, guys. We do have a soft spot right there. Not bad, uh, but I can feel like give under my feet. It's kind of this whole area here because there's another one there. Master bath uh, it has the uh, epoxy painted deal there. Uh, they also had a, a roof leak back here. Mold again was taken care of, but it was not repainted. So again, just shooting everybody straight here on the channel. We, just, we, we pride ourselves on honesty and, and integrity of being up front with everybody. So Colony Cove, you can rent homes in here. So if you're watching this and you're an investor and uh, you wanna do some work and get a home, uh, that use it as a rental property, maybe for the snowbirds coming in, you can do that here. They will have to be approved by the park if they're gonna rent. Oh man, that just, that's a heartbreaker, isn't it? Man, oh man. Oh golly. So at 74.23 here, we finish up our tour. Uh, storm damage home. Uh, you know, it's sad to see this happen, but um, it is a reality of living down here in Florida. Sometimes this stuff does happen. Just thankful that no one was hurt, nobody was injured. Everybody walked away just fine. We have to be thankful for that. Count our blessings that way. So 74.23 Westwood, let's go over the uh, pros and the cons. You have a seller who uh, needs to sell it and they need to sell it very, very quickly. They're taking all offers. Uh, you do have the roof issue. Um, 
and the ceiling issue and then the, the, the mold has been treated, but then all of a sudden you gotta take care of the painting and a bunch of uh, small things with the um, uh, soft spots and such. So if this project is something you wanna take on uh, as an investor or as someone who is uh, extremely handy and has a connection in the roofing business, please give us a call uh, as a seller is at wit's end and they really need to sell this home as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and been, uh, become a part of the community, please do so. That, that way you'll be up to speed with everything that we're doing here at the mobile home dealer, all the properties and the how-to videos, as well as the educational content that we pride ourselves on. Guys, this is Mark with the mobile home dealer. Thank you so much for taking a look at this property. We'll see you all on the next one.